Revocation of land. Anselm for England faction. Oh, the factions are coming thick and fast now. Maybe it's people are thinking I'm careless. It's somehow sparked insurrection here. Maybe they're thinking I'm past it now. Too old to to, 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 to run the kingdom. They think it's about time a young whippersnapper... Well, I say young whippersnapper. Who's that person they're trying to press? They're trying to press an old man themselves. Who is it? It's some bishop? Oh, he's 36. He just looks old. He must have had a hard life. The Holy Romans seem to be mobilising. What are they doing? Maybe they are going on the... Uh, the, the to assist in this jihad. I don't... They're, 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 uh, they're arriving at the coast of Asturias. I don't know what they're doing. What are they doing? He doesn't seem to be doing anything. He's, he's got truces. He's not at war. But uh, France is in an uproar here. What's happening here? Defending against Duke Geoffrey of Berry in Berrian War for Prince Geoffrey's claim on France. An Independence League war? Oh, it's all kicking off. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. Ha ha ha. Burn in hell. Oops, we've got a few things going on. Turston has declared Cornish claim on Charter's War. To... Ooh! Ooh, ooh, what's, what, what, what war are you claiming here? Cornish claim on Chartres War on Duke Pierre of Orléans. Where's Chartres? Somewhere around here, isn't it? Why are you starting wars? Cornish claim on Chartres. What the flaming hell? He's got a strong claim on Chartres. It's there. He's trying to claim Chartres. Of course, that would bring it under the rule of the English. Ah, oh, well. Good on you, son. Nice to see you taking some initiative, but I don't think you're going to be able to do it. Call me sceptical. Definitely keep an eye on this war. The Pope has been uh, succeeded by a new Pope who doesn't like us as much as the old one did, but if we can get his opinion raised, we could, fingers crossed, go once again cap in hand, hoping to make a claim on some land. Uh, ooh, another Duke of Hereford. He didn't last long, did he? Did he die? Poor health. You become Duke and then things just go horribly wrong. It's hard work running a duchy, you know. Puts a lot of stress on you. Okie dokie. Seeks to kill my spy master. Why would you do that? No, don't be foolish. Don't want to kill my spy master, silly boy. Okay. Of course, you're just, you know, your schemes are misguided. And my, 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 uh, demand is, is just and reasonable. I'd love to help him out here, <coughs> but I don't think we can join our, uh, war of our vassals. Just send my 4,000 strong retinue force in there, pepper them with arrows, and then, uh, that would be the end of the matter. Charters would come along to the land of the English as... My son-in-law dies after a period of illness. Oh dear, oh dear. Ooh, 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 a few people are accepting my son's call for war. And off they go, heading across to Chartres. Yes, indeedy. Come on, son. Give us another land within England. Expanding our borders ever further. His attention is diverted, you see, because he's also attacking the king in their own succession crisis. So his forces are split, which gives our son just free reign to batter and bruise this whole duchy and claim charters. All the people are dying at the minute. It's a sign that the times are changing. 
Yes, shortly heralding a new generation, a new era. All the old guard are just dropping dead. Any of the new guard causing us problems? That is the next question. Adam of Bedford, he's not too bad. Minus four is not horrendous, really, is it? I'm getting a few. There's a few with a low opinion, but most of them are yeah, quite high. It's fine. I don't think the king is quaking in his boots just yet. There is a few factions, but none of them majorly uh, powerful. The peasants have revolted, have they? In Evro? Oh, that is my son's county. Certainly will not be sat back observing like we did in Vexin, watching and laughing as their castle is besieged. No, no, not this time, no. We shall be lending a helping hand. So, we'll instantaneously raise our personal levy. And we shall merge them here. And we shall, as before, head it with powerful English um, troops. And because it is our son, and our son is fighting a war, claiming land on behalf of, well, for himself, but ultimately for the future of England, we'll also get involved and uh, help out. Although we're going to do a switch. I don't think... I should be leading the, this this one. I think he should be leading that one. And here we'll have uh, Earl of Mortain. And we'll just go forth and batter the rebels. Which I'm sure we'll uh, take care of the situation swiftly, effectively. And we'll write songs about this joyous day for time. For a long, long time. Here we go. Look at this. Just pepper them with arrows. Just pepper them dead. Pepper them dead. There you go, son. No need to worry. No need to fuss. The rebels are dealt with. Right, we're just going to disband all of these. Disband them all. And also we're going to disband... See, this is worrisome. All the No retinues will be disbanded and no special troops will be disbanded. But I just somehow cannot seem to... Let's see if it works. Yeah, the retinue doesn't... That's good. That's good. The retinue can't be disbanded like that. That's that's fine. Right, uh, you might as well go back to the capital and enjoy your epic victory as we shot down and bombarded the enemy with arrow fire. Anyway, before the whole issue cropped up with wars breaking out and things, I was just about to explain that Young Gronard has also uh, given me some advice about the retinue. Of course, I have eight units of long bow troops in this retinue here, and we can uh, retinue cap currently stands at four thousand. Uh, apparently, the archers, the long bow retinue, pairs off really nicely with the defensive uh, retinue, and the ideal army composition is two units let me get this right now I think it's two units of defense retinue to every one unit of archers or is it the other way around two archers no I think it is I think it's two defense units to one archer uh, unit and, and then uh, just repeat that round and that gives you a, a an army with pikemen and archers and that is quite a, a, a strong freestanding force without the need of recruiting any levies at all. So uh, in due course we could look at switching it up a little bit. The retinue cap usage of defence is 800. So a couple of those would be 1600. This is 500 so that would be 2100. And that would give us a, a grand total of... Uh, 1,500 men, and then to repeat that, it would be 4,200 retinue cap usage. We currently have 4,000, so we were just slightly over the, 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 the retinue cap usage. So when I am finally get this retinue cap increased a little bit, um, we'll look at changing the composition of the retinue to this new combined defence plus archer retinue, but just not quite yet. Okay, so Gottschalk still is not fabricating a claim. The king is 66 now. He surely is about to drop dead. And I think what we'll do is we'll end the session when he does. 
changing of the guard will be taking place. And uh, this, ooh, there's a war going on in Scotland now, it looks like. Ooh, it's all going wrong here. Defending against Duchess Gormelia, the Isles, in Islander War for Earl Mail Martin's claim on Scotland. So somebody's trying to claim Scotland. Well, isn't that nice? This is why we need a weak claim, because if we had a weak claim right now, we could press our claim whilst they're having a succession crisis. And that would be it. Poof! Scotland would be ours. Oh, Popey, you like us again. Oh, 80, right, okay. You'd like us enough to give us some land? You'd like us enough to, to, to have some land revoked within Scotland? Eh? I don't think you do, do you? It's all talk. When it comes to actual action, you just seem to uh, not be interested. It was this man. Where is, oh, where is the duchy? Here is the duchy. Here is the duchy. Crest would be denied, eh? Do you... How about Ireland? Do you, like, dislike these people enough? Do you dislike them enough? To uh, give us a claim, eh? Just willy-nilly? Here you go, have a claim. Oh, look at this, 4,000 men just bombarding the gates. It looks like Prince Turston is going to win. Showing his qualities, this is good. If he's going to be taking over as king, he has to have this this impetus. He has to have this this will to be able to uh, to claim land and, and, and show his military strength and another peasant revolt has broken out this time in Pawis. Pawis is under the control of the Duchy of Hereford a new child Duke we'll see if he can handle himself in fact what do we think of this boy do we like him yes he seems he seems okay he seems like a good chap ah <sighs> should we should we assist this boy flex our muscles yeah go on then if we must right how many ships do we need to transfer we need like 50 sh 50 ships five sh 50, yeah, 50 ships I think to get 5,000 men across call it 55 ships actually right same as before, we'll get the Mayor de Conteville here, the king leading the main force. I'm getting a bit... Uh, in my old age, I'm uh, starting to fight in the field of battle more often. It's not a good sign, is it really? It should be relaxing. It should be relaxing, man. Is that enough? Get some more just in case. go. 64 boats. Off we go. And we'll dock them here. Oh, I didn't see if he died or something. My liege, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. Threaten the vassal to end his scheme, or else we shall take action. Right, we're off, we're running, we're fighting, we're peppering, we're killing. And he obviously comes to us with an apology. And we forgive him. And that should be the end of that particular faction to lower the crown authority. Was it the lower the crown authority? I can't remember which faction it was, to be fair. But whatever which one it was, he's ended it. So we'll disband the fleet. We can disband. Oh, that was foolish. Disband the army. The retinue will come down to Winchester for the time being, and it will stay there for the moment. I'm not going to mess about transferring them all the way back across. 
to the capital. They can stay within England for now. Okay. 24% in favour of my son, the war here. How goes the war in France? Are they losing? Only slightly. I'm going to bring him back to scheme in my capital. War has ended and my son has won. So well, here he is. Count of Evro, Count of Cornwall, and now Count of Chartres. Or Charters. Put the deep pronunciations. Always, always get the better of me. Charters. Anyway, who cares what it's called? He has it. We have another land to add to the Kingdom of England. So for that, my son, I tip my crown to you. So what other claims does he have that he might want to press? The Duchy of Normandy. Oh, and another peasant revolt. Would you credit that? I mean, for goodness sake, what is going wrong here? Peasant revolts all over the damn place. People rising up. Right, well, looks like we're going to have to once again come to action. Is he dead? He's dead! I say that because I'm a little, little bit happy about it, because he was a little bit of a thorn in our side in the past, wasn't he? Somebody trying to push him onto our throne, but ultimately we came to sort of a mutual agreement with him. He was tutoring our son in a sort of, you know, mutual respect there. Okay, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this guy here and say, Give me your troops! I want your troops. No, we're not. Yes, we are. 481 of them. I want your troops. Please. Thank you. You as well. I want your troops as well. Thank you. We will merge them together. Join the retinue. And then we shall put down this rebellion. And he needs a tutor. Right, okay, so what do we need? Who shall we... Uh, who shall we give? In fact, let's go to the ranks and see him. He could do with being made a little bit happier. Does he? And he's a good priest. A good priest. Scholar. Mastermind theologian. Got some bad stats as well, but ultimately, I think... Uh, I think he would make a good tutor in the long run. Right, I'm here again, ready to crack the whip. And uh, who shall we give? Oh, Sarah, oh, he's gone. Uh, you there. Igor? Russian? I don't think so. My son. Yes, you can join the fight. You no good dastardly son of mine. Get your hands dirty. If your old pop's going to be leading troops at the age of 67, you are certainly going to help out. And poof. Up in flames they go. Alright. Let's come back down again. So the retinue has been kept very busy at the minute. Rebellions popping up. Once too often, I feel. Ah, hello, Pope. Opinion 80. Um... Okay, I don't know how long the session's been going on for, but uh, he was 64 when we started, so when he gets to the age of six, uh, 70, if he makes it that far, then we'll, we'll uh, pause it there. Or he dies, whichever comes first. So he's, yeah, 67 though, he's, he's, he's doing well. Especially since he's been stressed for a number of years, he's been stressed for like 15 years. Soldiering on, I am stressed, but I can cope with it, it's fine. I can cope. I'm the King of England. It's not as if I have to do things. I could, if I so choose to do so, put my feet up, eat, drink and be merry whilst my minions do my work. Anyway, 
There is a man I need to arrest. And another I want to assassinate. My spy master could either help with one or the other. Which one should we pick? Uh, arrest is good. We don't assassinate people that often, to be fair. Unless it's a plot or a scheme. Just a straight up assassination is expensive and it's unless it's a you know, unless it is desperation. Then we don't usually take that route. Okay, so council members. Opinions are beginning to falter a little bit. I think it's because um, we've lost that little bit of a uh, a buff for for quelling rebellions and showing mercy. People are forgetting that. They're forgetting that side. That you know, time has passed. But time has gone on since then. These people's memories just need a little bit of jogging. I think. Reminding about why they still have lands and titles and not to get any funny ideas. In fact, maybe we could remind them about that in a feast. Invite them over, have a good old merry time, but then as a parting gift, just remind them about who's in charge around here. That's a good idea, I think. So remind me to get a feast going in a couple of months' time. How are my family members doing? Here is Svetasar, look at him, hopeless man that he is, but he's our, as I say, long distant relation. So we are showing him goodwill. 80, ooh! You show some promise. You show some promise indeed, he could be our marshal. Bella's great grandchild could become England's marshal. Now, let me see here. There are better marshals, of course, that could take up that role. And do we want to risk annoying a duke in a time where... Yes, we do, actually. I'm old. I'm soon to die. If he doesn't like me, he can spin on it. <laughs> see ya, buddy. I am going to appoint... I know he doesn't like me, but I'm going to do it anyway. He's just, uh, yes, one of my family members. It's, we caught up, we had a good laugh and joke, and he told me about his family. And yes, although I never knew my great-granduncle, whatever the hell he was, we're going to uh, appoint him as, uh, as a marshal of England. Just, just, just for the sake of history. For, for, the, for the memory. There you go, Bella. Who would have thought it, eh? When your own great-grandchildren, many, many, many years down the line, will become a Marshal of England. It's funny how these things work out, isn't it? Robert Fleming, my kinsman, has died of smallpox. And you! What do you want? Oh, blessings upon you, dear father-in-law. You come to me too often to bug me with your marriage proposals, your war proposals. And no, I want a feast, so I'm not going to help you out, I'm afraid. I'll take this prestige loss, and uh, I have bigger things to worry about, like keeping my vassals in check. Rather than fighting wars, I have no business fighting. 81 opinion. Scotland is in an uproar here. The king is actually close to taking Caitness back, and he's actually winning the uh, succession war as well. 